Right, Merck has opened a $1 billion addition in northern Durham to increase vaccine production at its facility there. The company calling that a significant milestone for its drug making factory and its effort to strengthen manufacturing capabilities across the country. Obviously, very good news for us here in the Triangle as well. Cindy Bay live now in Durham taking a closer look at the economic impact. There's a lot of excitement about this expansion, Cindy. Yeah, Steve, well, the expansion comes as, according to experts, the life sciences industry is booming here in North Carolina, and they say that Merck's expansion uh, is just a testament to the overall health of the industry. The drug maker Merck announced it has opened a new facility to increase vaccine production capacity in the U.S., and it's right here in Durham. The new $1 billion plant will manufacture the HPV vaccines Gardasil and Gardasil 9, while the site as a whole continues to produce vaccines against measles, mumps, rubella, and chickenpox, among other illnesses. That means more opportunities for more jobs right here in Durham, more training programs that we could actually employ. Uh, just more opportunities for uh, them to become a bigger, more impactful corporate neighbor. The expansion has gotten praise from Durham Mayor Leonardo Williams and the North Carolina Biotechnology Center, who finds that North Carolina is one of the leading high growth life sciences state. In 2023, North Carolina's life sciences industry exceeded 100,000 jobs for the first time. And despite the uncertainty at the federal level under the Trump administration, including threats to medical research funding, which is a core aspect of the life sciences industry, Senior Vice President for Science and Business Development at NC Biotech, Mary Beth Thomas, is looking toward an exciting future for North Carolina life sciences. The, the community that has been developed, it is established on some of those funding um, veins that come from the federal level. But I think what North Carolina has established now does bode well for our future. Now, Thomas says uh, just last year alone, there were 25 different company announcements that wanted to grow and expand here in North Carolina. Some of these companies have made significant investments in the state that she doesn't see uh, going away anytime soon and hopes uh, will continue, especially here in North Carolina. Reporting in Durham, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah.